Hi, I am Abhira Patla, educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy by downloading the Unacademy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. In this video, we will learn some words for a person authorized to carry out some legal formalities, a person with an evil reputation and many more. So please rate, review and share this video. Also do not forget to subscribe to our Unacademy YouTube channel. The subscribe button is just below. So our video is titled One Word Substitution, Words Beginning with N and you are watching the first part with me Abhija Patil. This is a link to my Unacademy profile. So you can go to this link to watch my other courses and you can also follow me on Unacademy by going to this link. If you like this video then please do rate, review, recommend and share it. Now in this video you will look at the first set of one word substitution words beginning with n so let's start our video let's look at the first word which is nepotism nepotism is a practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives or friends especially by giving them jobs or other benefits so the practice of favoring friends or relatives by the people who are influential or powerful is nepotism example would be in the movie industry the already established producers or directors launch the kids of uh, their celebrity friends then that is a practice of nepotism practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives or friends next is nautical nautical is something concerning navigation sailors or the sea so something which is related to navigation sailors or seers nautical next is neology neology is a new word or phrase or an existing word used in a new sense so a new word or phrase or an existing word which is used in a different sense is neology the example of neology would be a webinar it is coined from web and seminar which is a seminar which is watched on the web or the internet so webinar is an example of neology or another would a word would be chillax chillax is coined from chilling and relax chill and relax which means to calm down or relax right so new word or phrase or an existing word used in a new sense is neology next is notary Notary is a person authorized to perform certain legal formalities. So a person who has the authority to perform certain legal formalities is a notary. Now during the time of my admission a few years ago, we had to get photocopies of the mark sheets and all and we had to get them attested by a notary. So when you have to get photocopies of your mark sheets and other documents attested, you go to a notary. A person authorized to perform certain legal formalities next is namesake namesake is a person named after another so it's common practice that sometimes uh, the, ch uh, the ch child of a family is named after his grandfather or someone uh, the parents are really close to right so this child is named after the grandfather or some uh, really special person so that is namesake a person named after another example would be if the father's name is John then uh, John senior then his child would be named John junior so he is named after his father and they put uh, senior and junior a person named after another is namesake next is nefarious nefarious is someone who is extremely wicked or villainous so extremely wicked evil villainous is nefarious next is nomenclature nomenclature is the choosing of names for things especially in a science so how names are chosen for plants each type of plant has a scientific name or each species of animal has a scientific name so these names are chosen by nomenclature the choosing of names for things especially in a science is nomenclature next is nostalgia a sentimental longing for a period in the past so nostalgia is when you are longing or you are reminiscing about a period in the past example would be if you are at work and something reminds you of your college days and how much fun you used to have in your hostel with your friends 
then you are nostalgic about your college days. So sentimental longing for a period in the past is nostalgia. And last word for this part is notorious. A person with an evil reputation. So a person who has an evil reputation or does not have uh, or is ill-famed is a notorious person. Example is an art thief. If a thief has stolen an extremely expensive uh, uh, painting, then that person is notorious. That thief is notorious. So let's go over all the words again that we've discussed in this part. First is nepotism, the practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives or friends, especially by giving them jobs or other benefits. Nautical, concerning navigation, sailors or the sea, so something which is related to navigation, sailors or sea is nautical. Neology. A new word or phrase or an existing word used in a new sense. So remember the examples of webinar, seminar on the web and chillax, chilling and relaxing, the combination of the two. Next is notary, a person authorized to perform certain legal formalities. Namesake, a person named after another. So when a child is named after the parents', is, uh, parents that is the grandparents or the or parents' friends or anybody who's close to them, then that person is a namesake, that is, he's named after someone else. Nefarious, extremely wicked or villainous. Next is nomenclature, the choosing of names for things, especially in a science. So the scientific names of plants, insects, animals is nomenclature. Nostalgia, a sentimental longing for a period in the past. And last is notorious, a person with an ill reputation or evil reputation, that is a person who is famous for something bad that they've done is notorious. So with this we come to the end of the lesson. I hope you all like the lesson and thank you for watching it. If you all have any questions regarding the words that we've discussed in this part, then please mention those in the comment section. And if you all can have any suggestions or feedback, then please mention those too in the comment section. Well, can go over the lesson again, watch it again so that these words are thoroughly revised and you can also view it in the slide mode. And if you like this lesson, please do not forget to rate, review, recommend and share it so that more and more people who are appearing for such competitive exams go through these words and it enables them to answer one word substitution questions which may be asked in such ex entrance exams. So please do rate, review, recommend and share. Stay tuned for more. Bye.